Newcastle Rugby League. A late try to South Newcastle has secured a hard-fought win over Central. The win keeping the Lions clear of the bottom of the table. While the New South Wales Pioneers were no match for the Queensland Rangers on the Gold Coast, featuring eight Newcastle players, the Pioneers couldn't stop the Queenslanders' momentum heading into the break 28-0 down. They fought back in the second half thanks to two Shane Keel tries and a borrowing run from Jordan Martin, but it wasn't enough. Newcastle's Reese Edwards has taken out the Bay to Bay half marathon with North Evoca's Jack Colreevy coming in a close second. Another Hunter product also claimed a podium finish in the women's. It's the athletic highlight of the year on the Central Coast, but this morning's wind chill tested the nerve of even the most seasoned Bay to Bay runner. Newcastle's Reese Edwards broke apart from the pack to secure the win. <laughs> Yeah, I'm really, really still off. Like, I'm so happy with that run. It was looking like last year's 12K superstar and Central Coast product, Jack Colreevy, might reclaim his title. But Edwards wasn't about to let his friend get the edge. He has the marathon legs in him, like he's represented Australia. There was a pack of four of us and we were all kind of rolling on really nicely and then Reese ruined it by surging ahead at about the 14K mark. Colreevy only too happy with his own result. Second grade. And there was plenty more Newcastle talent to come. Celia Sullihan, the first woman to cross the finish line. A little bit fresh to start, but great course and a lovely, lovely table to run me. Terrible trotter Andrew Land made the 12k look easy, finishing first to a round of applause. For most, the thrill of making it all the way to the stadium was more than enough. Even if afterwards, they couldn't quite feel their legs. Jacinta Lee, NBN News. To the NPL and Valentine and Jets youth split the points. Maitland flogged the Blues while Hamilton easily took care of Rosebuds. You couldn't split the two teams at half-time. Adamstown's Luke Vallone breaking the deadlock in the 59th minute. But from then on, it was all Olympic, scoring four unanswered goals. And the king of Darling Street, he breaks his drought. Hamilton beating the Rosebuds 4-1. Of course, the round ball game is dominating at the moment with the World Cup in full swing, but all those stars started somewhere. Tomorrow night, we go right back to the start. Volunteer-run grassroots local football. We spent a very chilly morning at a truly great local club and learned about the effort, the hours and the dedication it takes to run your local club. That's coming up tomorrow night. And before I go tonight, the stars of Newcastle hit the dance floor for the Cancer Council's annual fundraiser. This lady sitting right next to me, our very own Jane Goldsmith, busted out the moves, wowing the crowds and taking home the People's Choice Award. Jane raised more than $24,000 overall. The stars of Newcastle raised a record-breaking $288,000. Rod Cooper was crowned the winner of the night. You're the winner in our eyes, Jane. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Amazing effort. A fantastic <laughs> evening, and thank you to everyone who supported the event. But stay with us. We'll have all the weather details next.
13 in Scone. Tomorrow, cloudy with a very high chance of showers along the coastal fringe, a medium chance elsewhere. Snow falling on the Barrington tops again with snow above 1,000 metres and also a possible thunderstorm near the coast. 9 to 16 for Newcastle, 8 to 16 for Maitland and 6 to 15 the range for Mary Watt, minus 1 to 4 for Barrington tops. Big season swell tomorrow, gale force winds again, 4 metre season swell. The high tide at 12.24, sunrise at 6.53, sunset at 4.54. And looking further ahead for Newcastle, Tuesday cloudy with a very high chance of showers. Some drenching rain forecast for the next two days. A top of 17 degrees on Tuesday, 18 on Wednesday. In the Upper Hunter, Tuesday a slight chance of rain and snow falling above 1,300 metres. 16 the top for Tuesday with a minimum of just four. And in Gosford also some decent rainfall for Monday and Tuesday right through until Thursday with a top of 16 on Tuesday. And head to our Facebook page for more. And that's our bulletin for this evening. The Today Show will have the latest news tomorrow morning. From all of us here, good night. Good night.